The title's not an exaggeration. For 17 years, I've gradually chipped away at a singular goal I've had since I was in fourth grade. That's a long time. That's a really long time. Thousands upon thousands of hours spent striving for one thing. To put that in perspective, I could have been a pilot like five times over with that amount of experience and time dedicated to this one field. The Roman Colosseum was built in eight years. I could have built it twice with the amount of time I put into this. And now I've finally completed it. I caught my Moby Dick. RuneScape Maxing. RuneScape is a game that's existed for over 20 years now, and I started playing it back around 2005 when I was in fourth grade. And I've, of course, taken breaks while playing RuneScape throughout the last 17 years, but the beauty of that game is you never quit, you just go on hiatus. You, you take a little half-time breather in order to recollect your sanity. So, I haven't been 17 years straight working on it, but... It has been a large part of what I've played over the last 17 years, and I've finally accomplished the ultimate goal in the game that I had set for myself so long ago, which is getting every skill in RuneScape to 99, which is the highest level they can go. To break it down, RuneScape has 23 skills, each one more painful than the last when you're, when you're training them. To put it in perspective, 99 takes 13 million XP, and some skills at best will give you like 50 to 60,000 XP per hour. So to max a skill, and depending on what methods and what skill you're going for, it can take hundreds of hours just to get one skill to 99. So you can see where things start to get stinky real fast, because some of these terrible XP rates are the best you can get at optimal efficiency. Meaning you're sitting there fucking staring a hole through your computer screen, full focus, full throttle, you know, fucking lat spreading, and risking carpal tunnel because some of these skills are legitimately just carpal tunnel simulator where you're clicking endlessly in like the same three spots over and over again. There's also an even more extreme level to training skills called tick manipulation methods which I'm not going to really dive into the weeds of. There's no point in pulling up the hood of this car and explaining it but just know Tick manipulation is akin to actual inhumane torture of the human body and soul. They probably wouldn't even subject prisoners in Guantanamo Bay to this level of agony. So, I didn't do a whole lot of tick manipulation for my training, but it, it's out there and it's, it's a scary thing. That's a fucking boogeyman in RuneScape if you ask me. But anyway, let me show you the footage of when I finally maxed on stream last night. Prayer potions for everyone, let's go! Two lamps, oh, we're finally done! We're finally done! Oh! World, uh, what are we in? 446, oh, the role-playing world too, role-playing a goddamn champion. 17 years in the making. 17 years! Oh! 50 years from now, my grandkids are going to look back at this stream moment and be like, Yep, that was old grandpappy. He did what everyone said was impossible. He fucking maxed in RuneScape like a month before they released a new skill, so he had to do it all over again and felt the pain all anew. But for that one brief fleeting moment, he was on top of the world. Run it. <sighs> We're maxed. We're maxed. We're fucking maxed. It's finally done. It's finally done. It's finally over. Now, now I can play the game. How many hours? 4,000 what? 156 days and 22 hours. How many? 4,000 something? Oh, thanks to the resub, Olgerty. In the bits, verb. Jesus Christ. Uh, what a journey. What a journey. Here, you can have the expeditious bracelets that made it all possible at the end. Thanks for the nuts. Yeah, this is probably my biggest gaming-related achievement ever. Prior to this, it was the six move made on XQC in the tournament. This, this trumps it. This is... Literally 17 years, since 4th grade. This is my... 3rd or 4th account, I don't remember. 
at least third. I think I had one more right before RS3 rolled around, so it's been so long in the making, man. People said I wouldn't do it. People said I couldn't do it. Who's laughing now? Not me, because I probably shouldn't have done it. 4,000 hours ain't, exa ain't exactly nothing. It just feels so good to be done. You don't know how many nights I stayed up till 6 fucking a.m. Just researching efficiency methods for skills I hated, even though I knew there was no new answers. Like for agility in particular, I kept looking for other means that wasn't just doing the goddamn hallowed sepulture. Or any of the rooftop agility courses. It's just so good to be fucking done. Oh my god. And I- oh. Not having to be on OSRS mobile. Constantly fucking AFK grinding something is so nice. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Thanks for the ale. It's done! Yes! Oh, and the wise old man saying congrats. I accidentally skipped his little speech. Sorry about that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, all, all of Gilinor is coming out to say congrats. That they, thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks, guys. That's so big. That's so fucking big. You might be asking yourself, what's the point in getting 99 in every skill? What do you get for it? And the answer is going to be different for everyone that you ask. Because in the game, the only thing you get is a max cape, which is what you saw me purchase there at the end. Which just gives you teleports and a couple of other bonuses. Like, it's a really good item, but it's not required. However, you receive something far more important when you max in RuneScape. You receive inner peace. You reach this spiritual nirvana. I, throughout the journey of RuneScape, I've compared the maxing of my account to that scene from Fairly Odd Parents where Timmy and his dad were going up the escalator and Timmy says, when do we get to the ride? And the dad says, this is the ride. That's RuneScape skilling in a nutshell. The skilling process is the most mind-numbing and tedious process that a human being can possibly engage in. It's about as much fun as watching a plant go through photosynthesis. Like, it is horrifically boring to train most of the skills in the game, but people do it. I do it because there's always that light at the end of the tunnel. The big number going up and the number goes higher. And it tickles some primitive portion of the human brain that makes it so you can't stop. Like, when the beauty of maxing in RuneScape isn't so much that you feel proud of the accomplishment, it's that you feel happy that you're done. Like, it feels like a prisoner being released and getting their freedom back, and now you get to breathe in fresh air again without being encumbered with the thoughts of grinding skills in RuneScape. At least that's, I'm just speaking for myself. There's a phrase that I've used a lot and everyone's used a lot where it's about the journey and not the destination. In RuneScape, that's a load of fucking baloney. That's that's a whole bunch of dirty barnacles because it is very much just about the destination because the journey is the worst part of it. As you can probably tell, I was miserable training most of these skills for maxing my account. But this really proved as a, a test of endurance for myself, like my mental fortitude. If I could fully commit and bang this shit out, I would feel amazing for it. And I do. I'm very happy that I've done this and challenged myself to actually accomplish something that I've wanted for so long. And there, believe it or not, there are people that actually genuinely do love skilling. Like, everything I'm talking about negatively here, people talk about positively. It's different for everyone, though I really am at a loss for how anyone can find things like fucking rune crafting or mining and agility fun. Those things I feel like are just objectively evil, and the human race wasn't ready for that kind of plague. But, you know, to each their own. One thing I would like to highlight is, even though I maxed all of the skills, it doesn't mean that I completed the game or even completed skilling. I mentioned that getting 99 is 13 million XP, but there's actually a level going full fucking Insano style that's above that. Those skills max out at 99, but their XP continues. It goes all the way up to 200 million XP before you can no longer gather XP in a given skill. Meaning, in each of the 23 skills, you can get 200 million XP and still be 99. So there are some people, God's champions, that have got 200 million XP in every skill in the game. There's not many of them. 
There's less of them than there are fucking Avengers in Marvel. But there are some that have done it. And keep in mind, that's like a 20,000 hour journey. Across all three or four of my RuneScape accounts of the last 17 years, I've probably tickled just north of 10,000 hours. Maybe. However, this group of people that do 200 million in every skill is beyond 20,000. It's on a whole different ball field. It's crazy. And nothing but respect for the people that can actually do that. I'm not built that way. So I'm beyond satisfied with just maxing the account at, at 13 mil per skill. It took a lot of spit and elbow grease, but we finally muscled our way to the finish line here 17 years later. Like I said, it did take me about 10,000 hours of total playtime across all of my accounts for the last 17 years to reach there. And that's a number that probably sticks out to a lot of you because it's said that if you spend 10,000 hours in any one thing, you'll become a master of it. And that's certainly not the case here. I guess the only thing that I've mastered across the 10,000 hours I spent grinding for this is self-control. Uh, like, you know, the inability to give up. Like, I refused to throw in the towel. Uh, I, I just kept chipping away at it. So I guess maybe it is true. Like, I, I did master a skill of persistence. Uh, so, you know, it, it doesn't feel worthless. Like, it do I don't feel like I wasted all of these hours doing it. I'm happy that I did. So, a lot of people have been asking what's next now that i finished the fucking 4,000, 10,000 hour tutorial here of maxing the account. What am I going to do now? Am I going to quit RuneScape? And the answer is absolutely not. Uh, I plan on finally doing what I enjoy in the game, which is bossing and raids. And then there's also, of course, the Inferno. Inferno being like the hardest PVM challenge the game offers currently. Solo challenge the game offers currently. So, I do want to learn the Inferno to get the Infernal Cape. So I do have more goals in the game uh, that I will be pursuing. Plus there is a new skill coming to the game for the first time in a long, long time. So I'm going to have to max that pretty soon in order to keep the account maxed. So that's another goal that I'll have for it. So I'm not quitting by any means. I'm just very happy to finally be done maxing the account and uh, just wanted to share that. That's about it. See ya.